So we are currently standing in front of the native bee hotel that we have here in the gardens. This is a place that we have constructed to provide nesting sites for many of the native bees that live here. So native bees are highly important to pollination of Australia. We have a wide variety of native bees here in the Australian National Botanic Gardens. Many of them actually don't necessarily occur in this region, in Canberra, but because of the diversity of plants we have here, we get those native bees. Some of those include what are called green carpenter bees, we have blue banded bees, and a whole range of other native bee species. Most people don't realize the importance of native bees. They, when they think of bees, they think of honeybees. And they don't realize Australia has over 1,600 species of native bees. And they're very important to the gardens because they play a key role in pollinating the plants. Not only do they pollinate native plants, however, they actually can pollinate non-native plants. Um, they have a certain kind of pollination. Some of them have something called buzz pollination and that particular pollination can be used for many crop plants as well. So native bees are important not only for native plants but also to use for agriculture and pollination of, of non-native plants. So many of the plants that we have here in the gardens attract native bees. Things with showy flowers like daisies or grevilleas and banksias, things with really sweet nectar, you'll tend to see a lot of bees around those flowers. Shall I take you to see a few of the flowers here? This is an Australian paper daisy, known as an everlasting that bees love. this way to see some banksias and grevilleas. Yep. Here are some more paper daisies, a different color, but they're equally attractive to bees. So here we have some banksias, and you can see it's loaded with bees. Not only are banksias a sure win for native bees, but they attract non-native bees as well. So not only do native plants attract bees, but they're absolutely beautiful to have in your garden. And this verticordia is a great example of one of those. It's a beautiful plant that native bees So here we are in the grevilleas, and there are more than 300 species of grevillea in Australia. So there are so many beautiful ones to choose from for your home garden, and it's a sure way to attract native bees. So aren't these grevilleas lovely? Their color, the shape, bee and look, native bees just love to visit them. Look at this grevillea, it's just beautiful. So here are some banksia flowers. And one thing is banksias tend to bloom a lot in autumn. And so just in order to keep flowers for bees in your garden all year round or as long as possible, it's good to plant a wide range of plants. So bees are incredibly important, as we know, for honey production and for agriculture. But that's not all. Bees are completely vitally important to sustain the diversity of plants and life on Earth.